is used to critiquing contestants' performances, but tomorrow night it is Amanda Holden's Whoa. turn to face the music as she steps out on the Britain's Got Talent stage. Because, Amanda, as I understand it, you will be performing a single from your debut album, Just Out, Songs From My Heart, yes? There it is. <laughs> yes. Eamon and Ruth, good morning. It's lovely to see you both. Well, um, app apparently you'll do well to see one of your albums because I hear that they're just uh, online. They can't keep up with demand. I know. Amazon, I've been directing everyone to Amazon and it's sort of exploded and I think they're running out of stock. So I've been asked to say, you, if you're doing your weekly shop today, if you're popping into... Tesco's, Asda or Sainsbury's, other supermarkets are available, um, then you can buy the physical product there and at HMV online and there's loads of other places to buy it. But, yeah, apparently Amazon are, are like, running out, which so, is not on. what I was does that, expecting. Does that surprise you, being honest? Yes, because I'll be 50 next year, Raymond. I was not expecting that. Yes. Do you know what I mean? When... <laughs> I thought I'd start slowing down and, and it's going the other way. <laughs> Listen, congratulations. It's out today, already doing so well. But I feel like we've talked about it for quite a long time because originally it was going to be Mother's Day, wasn't it? And then obviously That's everybody's what... plans changed, yours included, and your album. Yes, and um, I keep saying... My children keep saying, oh, Mummy, are you happy it's out? And I said to my little girl, Holly, the other day, I said, you know when you always tell me that one of your wobbly teeth is on its last string? and it needs to come out. I said, that's how Mummy feels about the album. I said, it feels like a wobbly tooth and I just need to pull it out. So I'm thrilled that it's out finally today because it's been sort of 18 months in the making and then obviously due to the terrible year we're all having, it had to be put on hold. And I'm just thrilled it's out and relieved and nervous. Well, look, there was your, your Mother's Day song, which um, we, we uh, showed on the programme, we previewed that on the programme. And um, the, the, the tracks on this album are musical theatre songs. And we're going to give people a preview now of what we're talking about. And this is a duet, right? And this is with Sheridan yes. Smith. Um, the song yes. is I Know Him So Well, which people may know better with Elaine Page uh, and singing Gibbs. that. So let's get Amanda's take on, uh, and Sheridan Smith with I Know Him So Well from Amanda's album. Here we go. Um, how did you choose the songs, Amanda? Because 13 songs, um, they're all kind of from West End musicals. We know you've been in many West End musicals. There must be so many songs that you love. Were these ones very personal to you? They're every single song, it's the, I think it's the lyrics. It's every, I've written on the CD and, you know, I've written an explanation underneath every single song as to which, what means what to who and, you know, which member of my family it's dedicated to. Um, so I think it's just throughout my life, these songs have sort of always stayed with me or I've always sung. When I released Over the Rainbow this year for the NHS, which I wasn't expecting to do, that was a song that constantly reminds me of my grandparents. Um, a Thousand Years, which is also on there, and, and we played on the Heart Breakfast this morning, is for Lexi because it's how I felt when I held her in my arms for the first time, like I'd known her forever, even though she was obviously fresh out of the oven. Um, so every single song is, is related to either Chris or one of my children or my family and the, and the life that we've had so far, so I hope that lots of people can relate to that because it's it's essentially about family and, and how much I love them all, really. Sheridan Smith, how did you get her? Yes, I love Sheridan Smith. I'm a little bit of a stalker. I've seen her in all her shows. That was her when she was in Joseph in the West End as the raider. And, um, I didn't have her number. You know, she's one of those people you sort of wave to at a do and like. But David Williams brilliantly gave me her number and I just rang her and I just asked her basically. My mum always said, if you don't ask, you don't get. So I asked and I bless her. She was all snuggled up in her house, heavily pregnant. And she came out for the afternoon and came down to the recording studio and we got on really well. She's a really open, vulnerable, lovely, lovely woman. And we couldn't stop. We were like very touchy feely before lockdown, obviously. I couldn't keep my hands off her. She was lovely. It's a great track. I think, Amanda, I saw on your Instagram, um, you posted something of, of your girls watching you recording that, and I think it was Holly who was kind of miming along. So uh, uh, have either of them picked up your love of kind of singing and musical theatre? Do you think they've got aspirations like you had? 
I would say Lexi, my eldest, who's actually the sort of shyer, quieter, more reserved one of the two, is really good on guitar and sings along, but would never do it on demand. Holly and I do it on demand. <laughs> Holly is my eight-year-old, and she basically mimes to all the songs, knows all the words, um, and, you know, she just waits for an opportunity to perform, and she does it. We've just had a bit of decking put down in our back garden, and she uses the decking now as a, stage. a stage. It's not decking. Well, stage. meanwhile, tomorrow night you will be on stage, yes. and you'll be nice in front... Simply. Yeah, in front of your Britain's Got Talent um, judges. Oh. Um, how, how critical will they be, or did you seek their advice before recording? Yeah, so I kind of... I thought David would be, you know, very sort of sarcastic and, uh, and you know, awful, but he's been really encouraging and, and overwhelmingly lovely. Alicia, brilliant. She's just, you know, we're very much a team on that show today. And having Ashley Banjo has been a real source of strength. And I'm not going to lie, as much as I miss Simon like crazy on Britain's Got Talent, I am really glad he is not there tomorrow. <laughs> You did, Although I, I you think did, he's watching from Stockholm. You did play it to him initially quite a while ago, didn't you, to get his one of the first people you played it to? Yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but obviously after Chris, my husband, I really seek Simon's approval and I took it round to his house with a pair of headphones and he said, oh, no, 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 we're going to put it on a speaker, which was excruciating because it's basically his whole household heard and he sat there and was very very nice about it which unnerved me and I just went hot and flushed red I thought oh my god I'm either embarrassed or I'm having early menopause here <laughs> because it was absolutely excruciating because he was so nice you about it and you I flushed and I embarrassed Somehow yes. I'm finding that difficult. I mean, you know, we know what we're I going to was, hear I now. Was. What are we going to see tomorrow night? What's going to be on show? Oh, I'm wearing a polar neck. <laughs> Don't distract Which leads from the music. Down to here <laughs> and up to there. Um, and I'm singing Not When well I'm Around from Sweeney Todd, which is one of my all time favourite songs. And it's dedicated oh. to my girl. Really girls. good. How okay. lovely. Well, it is Amanda Holden's Song from My Heart. And uh, you will see it on Britain's Got Talent tomorrow night. You'll see her perform. It's the debut album. It is out today. Amanda, we, we, on, we hope that it is the, the first of many, the first of many for you. Thank yeah. you. Every success. I'll duet with you both next. Thank duet. you. Duet. He can, Eamon can sing, actually. Duet. I bet he can. I'm not surprised at that. He can. Well, there you go, there you go. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to rival the Twitter account I've just, I'm looking at here. Amanda Holden's nipples. <laughs> it's got a whole separate account. That's, the, well, that's a whole other story. It's a whole interview for another day. You know uh, to tell us I about... said to Piers Morgan, they'll, they've got their own management now, so they'll probably go and do live stories because they've got a lot to get off their chest live next stories. year. <laughs> Amanda oh, Holden's you, Amanda. nipples, the name and Holmes's moobs. Yeah. You can just imagine, you all together. Say that on the all together. <laughs> moobs. Anyway, we just we have. Thank you. Thank you. Good you. luck. Good bye luck. Bye Thank bye. you very much indeed. Excellent. She really is a very, very good singer. Yeah. Songs from my heart out today. Mm -hmm.